there is nothing wrong with opposing the government of Israel. There is nothing wrong with opposing Netanyahu. There is nothing wrong with wanting an end to the war so that no one else suffers. But not if that means allowing Hamas and Islamic Jihad time to regroup so that they can carry on their war against the Jews. All the hostages must be freed. In exchange, Israel can release all the Hamas and Islamic Jihad terrorists, but not to remain anywhere near Israel where they can carry on their slaughter of the Jews. They can go to one of the many countries where the Hamas and Islamic Jihad leaders already are living like spoiled kings in luxury hotels in places like Turkey, Qatar, Iran, and elsewhere. In light of the complete failure of Netanyahu and company to protect the communities near Gaza that were the victims of the October 7, 2023 Hamas and Islamic Jihad rape, kidnappings, torture, beheadings, burning alive, shootings of thousands of defenseless civilians from babies to old women, the best thing Netanyahu can do is rest his head in shame and disappear. There's nothing anti-Semitic which means specifically anti-Jewish with supporting the rights of Palestinian Arabs. But when that means destroying Israel and doing to its majority Jewish population what Hamas and Islamic Jihad did on October 7th, namely raping, beheading, kidnapping, torturing, burning alive, disemboweling, and murdering in all kinds of horrific ways Israel's majority population, which happens to be Jewish, then yes, that is anti-Jewish. This is not complicated. Murdering, raping, torturing, beheading, burning alive, kidnapping people, including babies, little children, and old ladies, simply because they are Jewish is, yes, anti-Semitic. That is what Hamas and Islamic Jihad did on October 7th. One of the Hamas leaders said that this is only the beginning of the slaughter of the Jews. He called for many more October 7th slaughters. Palestinian Arabs deserve their rights, but so do the Jews of Israel. The rights of one group should never negate the rights of the other. Millions of people defending rape, murder, beheading, torture, burning alive, cutting off hands, disemboweling pregnant women, all because they are Jews, no matter the excuses, the, no matter the justifications given, is an evil far beyond the evil of what anti-Semitism is in and of itself.